Today we want to talk about the fact that we are sanctified in Christ. So let's begin our, uh, our uh, study here on sanctification or being sanctified in Christ. God brought us into Christ. So in Christ, Christ becomes your holiness. Christ becomes your sanctification. That means you and I in Christ have been made holy the same way Christ is holy. We've been set apart unto God the same way Christ has been set apart unto God. So Christ is our holiness. In Christ, we have been sanctified. The only way you and I can fellowship with a righteous God and a holy God is by having His righteousness and His holiness. There's no other way. So what did God do in Christ? He brought us into Christ and He said, I'm making Christ to be your righteousness. I'm making Christ to be your holiness. So here's something very, very important. I want us to pay attention to very closely. The Christian life is a life living out of this place of holiness and letting that holiness pervade every aspect of our life. It is not a journey of striving for holiness. It is a life that you live out of this place of holiness. God has already sanctified you. He's made you holy. Your past is gone. It doesn't matter how terrible the past is. We just read this passage. That doesn't dictate your holiness today. It should not and cannot dictate. Your holiness today is determined by the simple fact that you are in Christ. And in Christ, you are holiness unto God. He has given you this holiness. And he's saying, live out of that place of holiness. By the power of his word, by the power of his spirit, let that holiness fill your soul and fill your body. That's the journey. But we are starting out from a place of holiness, not journeying into a place of holiness. You know, when we understand this, we should say, this is how we think, because we have received this revelation. I am holy in Christ. I am holy in Christ. Therefore, I keep sin away from my spirit, soul, and body. Secondly, I am holy in Christ. Therefore, I crucify the sinful desires of my body. You are holy. Therefore, you purify your mind by the word of God. I am holy. And the new creation in me is righteousness and holiness. Therefore, I pursue a lifestyle of holiness. Now, as we look further in the New Testament, um, uh, I, wanna, I want us to understand that the New Testament calls us saints. We just read 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 2. He says to those who are sanctified in Christ, called to be saints. You are a holy one. Just as God is the most holy, you are one of his holy ones. You are a saint. That means you're a saint because he has given you his attribute, his divine nature of holiness. He says, I'm making you holy. So you are a saint, which means in you is this aspect of God's divine nature, which is holiness. And not only is the individual believer referred to as a holy one, uh, the entire body of believers are, are, are called a holy temple. And so not only is the individual believer a sanctified one, a holy one, but the local church, the whole community of believers, and the body of Christ at large, all believers, are called a holy temple, a dwelling place of God. The scripture says, on the one hand, it says you have been sanctified, which is what we have emphasized till now. But the scriptures also say you are being sanctified. That means it's an ongoing thing happening in your life. This outworking is what we must see happen for each one of us. 
we are living, we need to live out of our identity and our inheritance in Christ Jesus. Now let me just mention a few practical things as we live out this life, uh, living this sanctified life in Christ. We must walk in love in order to walk in holiness. Our standards and values are set apart for God. They're holy. As we are sanctified, we actually reveal the virtues of God. There is the beauty of God that is displayed in the holiness of God and will not be seen anywhere else. And lastly, there will be persecution for living a life of holiness.